What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. Wanna thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button as well. And today we gotta talk about Young Thug, Gunna, YSL, uh, the label or the street gang. I don't know, but clearly the state of Georgia, um, and this uh the state of Georgia, along with this prosecutor or uh DA district attorney, um, who may be trying to further her career, maybe, I don't know, um, or probably trying to use this as a as a political ploy, man. For real, for real. But um, yeah, so they say they say young thug and gunna. Along with 28 um, YSL members, are a part of an 88 indictment filed, 88 page indictment filed uh, Monday in Fulton County. Uh, they had Young Thug arrested um, pre- like a few days ago. They got uh, rapper Gunner. He just turned himself in like yesterday or something. I don't know. Um, now I will say. I don't know nothing about the street shit. I'm, I'm a hip hop fan for one. I will tell you, these motherfuckers had me fooled. Like they really had me, fo- bruh. I, 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 look, 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 look. These mug shots is way different than the image that I assumed these dudes. As far as just me outside looking in, knowing the history of you know different antics and things like that. You know to see. Um, Gunner and Young Thug, you know, looking real gangster, like ah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I I was tripping, I was fooled. Like they they really had me fooled, um, as far as they they images go. You know what I'm saying? Cause like it's hard to get this image out of my face. Like it's hard to get that out of my mind when I'm thinking like like damn, he came in the game doing this, but then you know you hearing a lot of people like, hey man. Cause I'm like, I'm like, hey, I never knew he was gangster like that. I thought he was wearing dresses, painting his nails, and doing all, you know, the extra stuff. You feel me? But then you got a lot of people saying, no, nah, no, nah, he really, he really a street nigga. He really do this. He really get down. And it's like, I respect that. But just imagine this, right? If if you got me, this this just random person that's sitting there like, yo uh they they wrongfully doing these guys wrong like no way these guys is a part of the stuff that they saying right murder uh conspiracy racketeering all kind of stuff right um it's a rico charge um it's a state rico not a federal rico but uh, it's pretty much the same shit though just on a smaller level i would say but yeah so if 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 i assume this just off what i see like i never i never like heard I mean, yeah, you know, they used to rap about certain stuff. That, that's what rappers do, rap about guns and stuff like that. But who would really believe it? So now what I'm finding out after this whole indictment stuff happened is, like, really everybody knew that these niggas was really with this shit except for Amp Dog. I didn't know. And I don't know whether to be offended that the fact that these niggas really fooled me. I thought these niggas were some fashionistas. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. You know, I thought I thought these niggas was on some bad bitch type shit. You feel me? I thought I thought Young Thug wanted to be a bad bitch at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? How could you blame me? How the fuck could you blame me? But now, you know, I just feel like everybody that's coming out saying all this stuff, you know what I mean? Hey, look, he a street nigga. Woo, 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 woo. That's probably why, you know, they're they're being charged. You know what I'm saying? Now, is some of the stuff probably caked up? Probably. You know what I'm saying? Um... But the thing is, they have an indictment that names 26 other defendants outside of Young Thug and Gunner and includes a wide ranging list of 181 acts that the prosecutors say were committed beginning in 2013. So they going all the way back when he was doing shit like this. That's what I don't know. So clearly I was fooled from day one. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was like mumbling and then maybe... When he started, you know, doing that little back and forth with Wayne, maybe you could probably say, hey, that's when he started changing his image. But I don't know. Maybe Thug's been wearing lipstick, uh, foundation, all that kind of shit, and still getting with the shit. I don't know. 
But I'm not knocking it. Because like I said, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Um, now, Gunna is signed to Young Thug's uh, Young Stoner Life record label. But they're trying to tie, as far as the the, the prosecution and uh, the DA's office, they're trying to tie them into, no, YSL is a street gang, and they just happened to blow up with rapping, and now they went from street gang stuff to now on a global level to where they still doing street gang stuff, but they just making a lot more money. I don't know, but... I would like to just make this a, a teachable moment to any up and coming artist, any up and coming anything. Um, if you started off, um, like some people have to, depending on your circumstances, your, your, you know, just whatever your, your, your life setting is, right? You might have to get out there, jump off the porch, you know what I mean? Do a little something, something. You might have to, but the reality, the reality, the reality is if you, if you do something long enough, like knocking at that door, somebody going to answer. So what I would want to say is ain't no way that young thug who got millions gunner who got millions, just came off the hottest uh, album or something like that. He was doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? To now you guys are potentially, you know, going away for years. Now, now I will say playing devil's advocate. I will say we got to give them that same time that y'all was giving Bobby Schmurter, that y'all did uh, uh, Rainbow Hair uh, Boy uh, Six Nine. Y'all got to put that pressure on them. You know what I'm saying? Make them niggas stand on what they stand on, cause somebody gonna get to tell it. And that's going to the next point that I got. I feel like I don't know, but I feel like that more than likely, what's about to happen is. Is this is about to be the the start of the normalization of telling? Um, these dudes too rich to go to jail. Um, shout out to what's his name? Uh, the dude that went to jail. He was on uh, Clubhouse. I'm not Clubhouse. He was on mm, the show with Charlemagne talking about yeah, you know, like niggas with money, real niggas with money ain't about to try to you know what I'm saying? Casanova. He snitched. I think allegedly. But that's what he said. Then you got, you know, you got the other dude that was going at it with Tax Stone from New York. You know, he basically wrote a Bible on how to snitch and still keep your street cred, allegedly. I don't know. I think this is about to be the beginning because so far you got all the other, you know, uh, areas of hip hop that have kind of taken taken L's and back seats to that. Yeah, we stand on what we stand on in certain aspects. You know, West Coast, you got Wack 100 fucking with, with 6 9 so that's, oh, yeah, the West Coast is weak, but at the end of the day, he a businessman. You got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? You, he ain't got to agree. You just got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? Me, I don't give a fuck, honestly. Like, I don't I don't know. Like, maybe 6 9 is cool. You know, you never know. You know? <laughs> just don't do a crime around them. You feel me? But then you got, you know, the East Coast dudes, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all let this little, this uh, rainbow hair do infiltrate the streets and whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know. So maybe this is the attack on down south. Um, and it's unfortunate at the timing of everything. But they said this shit is going back to 2013. Um, so a lot of stuff didn't happen since then. You know what I'm saying? They got they got a bunch of stuff to where it's gonna be difficult, bro. You got a bunch of stuff that that's going on as far as them saying you got you got a. Uh, I don't know. You just got these dudes a part of a lot of shit. And, you know, big money, you know, comes with big responsibility and big power. So hopefully um, Young Thug wasn't out here, you know, really trying to Young Thug, you know, maybe maybe cool it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe cool it a little bit and, and just rock out. You know what I'm saying? With it, with a, you know, a, a sports bra and a, and, and, and a dress. I don't know. Um but let me know what y'all think. Do y'all feel like they being wrongfully targeted? Do you feel like these dudes is 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 maybe the little fish and they they just trying to squeeze them to get to the big fish? Are they the big fish and now they about to squeeze all twenty six other people that's a part of it to get the big fish? I don't know. Um, it's it seems like for one they they have been being watched. That's one thing I could say. They seem like they have been being watched, and it seems like um. The confidence that the prosecution and the district attorney's office is showing seems like they got a lot on these guys. Now, I will say, 
um, when it comes to imaging and, and, you know, things like that, that is a, a, a tactic that is used when you give in press conferences is to sound as confident, sound as sure as possible. You feel me? So that could play a part, but, um, yeah, they're using their lyrics, their music videos as evidence. And how many rappers in the last 10 years didn't, how many rappers in the last 10 years that didn't been on ain't killed over 10 people in a song? You know what I'm saying? So that sucks. If you about to be starting getting held accountable for the shit you say in your rap song, bro, you know what I mean? Niggas, them, niggas be just killing shit just to kill shit. Niggas just, you know what I'm saying? So that, that, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of them ain't living like that. But then, again, I got to shut the fuck up because clearly these niggas is living like that. You know what I'm saying? I thought Young Thugger was, you know, uh, I thought he was kicking with Jaden Will, uh, uh, Jaden Smith. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was going to be kicking with that circle. But then he clearly is, he's, he's on some, you know, uh, Gucci Mane, uh, Demon Time, uh, you know, he's, he's, he might be the nightmare of the South. I don't know. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Um, and as always, man, you got to protect your peace, protect your mental and protect your people. Um, yeah. And if these, you know, I would, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. You know what I'm saying? If they don't, if this dude don't get a bond, um, then yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to say this dude probably, Maybe they got a little bit more on this guy than um, than what they think. To me, honestly, Gunna, I know he's been taking slack because he did that uh, Crime Stoppers video. But even outside of that, I really don't take Gunna as a, a street nigga. And there's no offense to his street credibility, but I don't even think he would want to be considered. I think he's like a nigga that I'm a fresh fly nigga that get money. You know what I'm saying? Every song I've heard him do is always about some type of a uh, brand of clothing or a piece of uh, uh, article of clothing that I ain't never even heard of. Can't even pronounce it. You know what I'm saying? More likely wouldn't wear it, but that's what I look at him as. So if, if it is him, you know, being caught up just in to being associated, I say that's fucked up. And um, you just got to watch the company that you keep, I guess. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute. Peace.